Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this Warcraft Rumble Heroic Campaign Guide, I'm going to show you how to defeat Tyrion Fordring in Plaguelands. Heroic Tyrion heals allies and cleaves through under skeletons. This includes healing allies very, very far from Tyrion. And then there are these timed pushes with footmen and shaman just coming at you from two sides. But you actually don't have to worry about much of that in this one, because Tyrion's push is coming very slowly. Tyrion doesn't have any immediate pressure. And once this push is a little bit away from Tyrion, then Tyrion himself is quite vulnerable. So the optimal strategy for this one is unbound spamming. So what you want to do is you want to get Welpex out here. Then Tyrion will pop the Welpex because Tyrion has cleave attack. He'll pop all the eggs at the same time. When the attack animation is happening, you want to drop an Earth Elemental on the opposite side. Then Tyrion will start to fight against the Earth Elemental. Then you can use Execute to give the Wolves Bloodlust. You can also add some more power with something like a Skeleton Party. And then this real secret source is having Cheat Death. Because Tyrion has some ways to handle those Welpex. They are safe pilots, they're Spiromancers. So... You need to do a couple of couple of timing tricks and this will actually be quite easy. The first one is that you want Tyrion to spend some gold. So if you happen to have a cobalt miner, you want to send your cobalt miner out there first and only then you want to drop the wellbex. Or if you don't have it, you want to wait a little bit and then drop the wellbex. So Tyrion will spend some gold so Tyrion doesn't spend that gold to defend. And the other thing is G death because Tyrion at some point is going to have a safe pilot but with cheat death, you can counter that safe pilot, keep your minis alive, and then they will have enough time to kill Tyrion. And this works at least down to level 21 minis, so minus 3 levels. And of course, the higher your levels, the easier it becomes. And this is the optimal Tyrion army at the moment. You can use this with all families. I have sometimes also used something else if the seed has been really easy. But this can really get you through everything. So you have the Welpex for main damage dealing. You have the Earth Elemental for tanking. You have... Execute to get Bloodlust, you have a secondary damage dealer in Skeleton Party, and then you have Cheat Death that is going to keep your minis alive, and you also have a safe pilot that can deal a little bit extra damage if needed. And this is what Heroic Tyrion looks like in action. Starting off with Alliance, here I don't have a Cobalt, so I'm starting with the Welpex, a little bit of delay, then the Welpex, Tyrion's going to spend gold elsewhere, Tyrion pops the Welpex, and Boom, drop the Earth Elemental to tank, then Bloodlust from the Execute, and now a little bit of extra power from getting getting that Skeleton Party in, and boom, boom. At this point, that Blizzard really should be a cheat death, so that I would be able to boom, that safe pilot would not do anything, but this time, well, I didn't actually need it, safe pilot was coming so late that I already had enough damage anyway. Then Heroic Tyrion with Beasts, and I don't really need that Quillbore for anything. Quillbore is doing some tanking here. Quillbore actually isn't a very good tank anymore, especially underleveled after the nerf because it lost a bunch of health. But this one time I happen to have an absolutely phenomenal seed. So Quillbore, even though it cannot tank Tyrion for very long, as you can see it's already gone, then the damage is just there. Safe pilot coming too late. And boom, Tyrion down. Then Heroic Tyrion with Blackrock. Here I happen to have boost slot on the Welpex, so they're level 25 despite being uncommon, which just means that I have so much leeway. I didn't even have to manipulate my hand or anything. I don't have an op optimal hand here. But hey, just having a couple of levels means that the damage, the damage is pouring in. It's not just coming in, it's pouring in, and a bit of cheat death here, and that Tyrion has no chance. Boom, boom. Able to try to get some things going, but then more Welbucks come, and Tyrion goes down. And the same story continues with Horde. After I added Cheat Death to my deck, I did not lose this a single time, actually. But, yeah, but it's also a little bit about timing. I learned that I need to delay the initial push a little bit. The Tyrion spend its gold somewhere else. And then just push, push, and be ready to Cheat Death. Here we get some Cheat Death effect in, and look at that. Safe pilot, tried to kill my stuff, could not kill my stuff, and... 
She that just completely saved his push. Cool. And this undead kill really showcases everything we have learned. A little bit of delay is needed here, otherwise Tyrion is going to play some minis that are going to challenge your push, but when you wait a little bit then Tyrion is going to spend that gold elsewhere. Then the whale pegs, and the earth elemental, and the execute for the bloodlust, and then waiting a little bit, there's going to be a safe pilot coming, because I actually did this a couple of times, and that's why I have that cheat that added to the deck, so that when the safe pilot arrives, oh boy, there's cheat death too, and look at that, the safe pilot was unable to kill my push, and instead, Tyrion goes down. Thank you for watching, click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers, who make all of these videos possible.